welcome back to Puzzles Gone Well. I'm your host, Epolina, and thank you for tuning in. This is gonna be a really quick video. I am just opening my Christmas gifts because I asked all the Santas for puzzles. Everybody was like, what are you gonna ask Santa for? I was like, just give me puzzles from Goodwill. I like puzzles. I like puzzles. Puzzles make me happy. You can't go wrong with puzzles. So, we're going to find out if everyone followed a direction. If not, it's okay because I appreciate any and everything. The first thing that I am going to open, I already know, is not a puzzle, but it is from my favorite girl in the world, my little sister, Weedy. And... That's this big, pretty bag. Look, the she's a college student, and you can tell she spent more than a dollar because this bag is fancy. It's, it's metallic. Oh, she got me a plushy monkey. So I really love stuffed animals. I have like stuffed animals. I have stuffed monkeys, particularly all around the house, placed in strategic places, like they're popping out and stuff like this. And this is the best, it's so soft and warm and cuddly. Now, it's not a puzzle. She didn't ask me what I wanted. She's a college student. She was gonna give me what she was gonna give me. And it's okay, but I opened it anyway, because this is my favorite baby. This is my baby. Now, one of Santa's L's, brought me some puzzles like two days before the holiday and they're new they're not used they're new because they still have that fancy sticker you know the circle sticker on there but this one is a glow in the dark who makes this masterpieces makes this puzzle it's called glow in the dark seek and find and it has 10 missing objects it looks like it's just like a lake party see and it's supposed to glow in the dark which i can do because i have you know the black light in the computer room and i guess i'm supposed to find the 10 missing objects on there it's 500 pieces um <coughs> excuse me so this one's pretty cool and um i got a thousand piece thomas kinskay justice league this is by Siako. Um, the gifter said they gave it to me because it had a lot of female superheroes on there. I don't really watch superheroes, but I think it'll make like a really cool poster or something. As you can see, it has like all the female DC characters. And let's see. Same Santa, actually. This is from my mommy, mommy dearest. I think this is from my mommy. Was this from my mommy? This was not from my mommy. I think that one's from my mommy. But it's not a puzzle. They bought me some colorful knives. Cause they want me to be crazy. They want me to be crazy. They bought me some colorful knives, but I need knives cause I cut everything with a butter knife. I cut my steak with a butter knife. So this is appreciated. Look at this. I got a paring knife. I don't know what I'm supposed to pair it with, but I got a serenaded utility knife and a, a bread knife. I do know what bread is. And a slicing knife. And they're all funky colors because I love some funky colors. So thank you whoever got me that with no name on the bag. This one is from my mommy. She also got me pots because I burnt my pot at Thanksgiving. Well, I mean, I told her, so I guess it's not a secret. But yeah, I burnt my pot at Thanksgiving. Uh, <laughs> So she got me some pots and she got me, 
she did follow directions. Let's see. Looks like there's three puzzles in here. I see a Goodwill sticker, so she did go to Goodwill. This is a Puzzleberg 500 piece. These must be like mini pieces. This is Central Park in Autumn. It's a um, crazy art puzzle. I think crazy art is like rose art now. But this is the puzzle. If this little box is 500 pieces, let's. Is it all taped? Let me see how tiny these things. Oh, they are super tiny. Look at this. Look how tiny it is. Can you even see it? That's like an earring. That's like an earring. Good thing I bought a magnifying glass to do the Simpsons puzzle the other day, cause I'ma need it. This is going to be interesting. Get in there. And I got a five, five, oh, Uncore 504 puzzle. Maybe that means it's 504 pieces. She did get it from Goodwill but it has not been opened. It hasn't been opened. It's a Mega puzzle um, from Mega Brands. I wonder how old this is because it has not been opened. But it's a, um, like a covered bridge. Check that out. And see, it hasn't been opened at all. Like definitely old school puzzle before they was putting the little circle tapes on there and they was wrapping it where you have to cut all the way around. Shark Week! This is, <laughs> this is funny. So I literally just did a video with, um, where is it? I found this Rubik's Cube Super 3D puzzle at a Goodwill, right? And I said I had never seen the Super 3D puzzles before, but it moves like the picture kind of moves. And like, I literally just did a video on that saying that I hadn't seen one. And she got me a Discovery Channel Shark Week Prime 3D 500 piece puzzle. Does this one? And it's got that same like metallic-y thing on it. Let's see if we can make the image change. I know the light is kind of weird, but it's got like the metallic thing well it's not metallic it's that um 3d stuff from back in the day that's in the front but this is this is pretty cool this is pretty cool um looks like she got this from tj maxx so is this new oh this is new okay this is a new puzzle so i'm gonna look into these super 3d and prime 3d puzzles because i think that there might be a newer brand um we're gonna find out. So we got two used puzzles and a new, four new puzzles. And let's see. I got this. It wasn't wrapped. Um, they said they ran out of wrapping paper. Oh. They also got me, um, really good friend, gets me these Pandora things. And if you guys have been watching my videos, you know I've been re-watching Game of Thrones lately. I got Game of Thrones, like the wolf, the dire wolf, to put on my Pandora bracelet. And two, um, well not two, well it's two earrings, but it's one set of earrings. Um, they're the dragons, like they're Daenerys Stormborn's dragons. Is it Stormborn or is it Targaryen? Who knows? But it's the lady with the white hair's dragons. Anyway, they ran out of wrapping paper and they got me this pack of puzzle. It holds up to 1500 piece puzzles and I can lay it flat. And when I'm ready to store the puzzle, I expand the cardboard tube. Huh? Make sure no puzzle pieces overlap. Then place the tube at one end of the mat. And it looks like I just roll it up and Velcro it together and I can like travel with the puzzle without having to take it apart in sections and put it back in the box. So this is pretty cool. It's called Pack a Puzzle. And a White Mountain. Okay. 
White Mountain, as you know, the two White Mountain puzzles that I have, they're actually right behind me. Yeah. No, those are the state ones, but I've got the puzzle with the pencil. They have, all their puzzles seem to have like, they're very busy and have a lot going on. And this one has like old thing, old school stuff. Um, it says things I ate as a kid. And I ate a lot of stuff on this list. Drop a comment down below and tell me which item you see on here that you ate as a kid. Captain Crunch is still a go-to. I don't care how young I get, I'm gonna get me some Captain Crunch. My hat is coming off. I love this furry hat. It's like a, it's like a hunter's hat or something. I don't know, but I like it. This is pretty cool. Ice cream sandwich. I did not eat Ovaltine. Did you guys see the Ovaltine? I did not drink Ovaltine, excuse me. Definitely Slim Jims. This is like Cracker Jacks. This is a box full of junk. But this one's gonna be, I think, really hard. No, maybe not. Because all the wrappers, even though they're the same colors, it looks like everything is probably gonna have some sort of lettering on it. So it might not be that hard. I don't know, we'll see. If you've actually done this one before, let me know if the difficulty level on it. Um, it says from Yodi. Oh, the box feels so nice and smooth. Let's make a trash bag. The box feels so nice and smooth. It's a Masterpieces brand, Thousand Piece National Parks of America. This is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. It's got a lot of animals with fur. So it's really, it's really cool but it, it's definitely gonna be difficult. It's got a lot of stuff jumbled up. It's got the USA right here um, inside, and it looks like it has like the major national parks listed on there. So that one's gonna be pretty cool. And then we got one more in the tote bag. <gasps> I got a That, that was me doing spring bop. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I got a spring bop. <laughs> okay, so you want to know what's funny? If you watched my Goodwill video, let's see where we placed that joker. It goes right there. I've got, do you remember when I said, not only did I get it because it was a spring box, I got it because I really love records. And it had like Pink Floyd on the front. It has the doors. It has Janis Joplin. It has, um, let's see. It has the doors. It has hair. So, and remember I said I was really hoping all the pieces were there because this is something that I could keep because I used to DJ online. And um, I've got what I'm assuming is the fancy new school version because this one says over 55 years on the bottom for Springbok. This one says over 60 years. So this is a newer version. As you can see, the picture goes all the way across the front. So excited. So I think I'm gonna do like a race, maybe with my mom or somebody, I'm gonna do a race to see who finishes faster. Uh, but yeah, that's a thousand piece puzzle. <laughs> that's hilarious. Let's move these to the side. Let's see. I got from Brit Rat. This is from my friend Brittany. You are the awesomest person.
person in the world. She's lying, but I'm gonna accept the compliment. <laughs> Somebody thinks I'm awesome. Oh, it's taped. Where's the scissors? Grab scissors, because the bag is taped. Um, now, normally when I get gifts, I save all my bags and re-gift them. And as long as people don't write on the actual bag, and then I just take these off and I buy the little sticky tag from Dollar Store. So you can reuse all these bags and stuff instead of being wasteful. I think there's a puzzle in here. Hold on now, hold on now. I see the word Harry. Hold on. It is a Harry Potter collector puzzle. Oh my God, this is gonna be so hard. This is gonna be so hard. How many pieces is this? Um, it's 550 pieces. It's Hogwarts and relive the magic of seeing Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry for the first time by putting this 550 piece puzzle together. So it's Hogwarts up here, like it's really dark, right? And it's Hogwarts and then the boats coming from the train going to Hogwarts, but it's a super dark puzzle. This is definitely going on my wall when it's completed in one of the Harry Potter rooms because I had actually been looking at this puzzle on Amazon for like seven months. I just didn't buy it because I was trying to get all my rivets 3D Harry Potter puzzles and I had to get Karen's puzzles puzzles. So I didn't buy it, but I've been looking at this for months. So that is freaking awesome. And I don't know what this is. What is this? It says Hogwarts, y'all. It's like a throw. It's like a cover. It's so soft. I love soft stuff. But it says Hogwarts on it. Do you see it? It says Hogwarts. And that's great because it actually matches the Hogwarts covers in my room that's the move that's awesome Brittany Brit Brat is officially the awesomest person in the world let's see this is a cup says cup care glass can cup the packaging is really nice this one has tape on it let's see isn't it so great how quickly I open things now that I keep a pair of scissors on the desk Trash. We're gonna fold the paper and reuse that next holiday season as well. It's a glass jar. Oh, and it has an L um, for Lena. It's a glass jar and it has like a little straw hole thingy and it has a straw and a straw cleaner, which is great because I love straws and I actually lost my clean. Well, I didn't lose the cleaner. I broke it because it went into the dishwasher or it was the garbage disposal. One of them, but it got like scrubbled up. So this is really cool. Definitely going to use this. I'm going to put butter beer in there because. Thank you so much. Lovely, lovely. And this one is from my birthday twin. And it has my name on the front. And they were trying to get me to open it. And I was like, it's a puzzle. I don't need to open it. And they was like, but you don't know which puzzle. Open it. And I was like, I'm going to open it on my puzzle video. And they was like, fine. They like super taped it. <gasps> Holy what? We don't say cuss words. I've been freaking looking at the Roker brand. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It's spelled R-O-K-R. I've been saying Roker. I've been looking at the Roker brand for the longest. And for those that don't know, I do, I am a film director. And um, I do a lot of film stuff. So 
That's my passion, film and photography. And Roker is a brand that makes wooden puzzles that actually work once you put them together. They're like items that actually work once you put them together. And they got me a Vitascope. The level cool difficulty out of five is four and a half. So I think this is one of the ones that I looked at on the website that said it would take upwards of 12 hours, but it works. It says frame by frame, piece by piece, the old stories are now playing in the Roker Vintage Movie Projector with the clicking sound of frame change. Hand crank generator. It says no glue needed, gears train, film projector, self-assembly, to mechanical gear. So like if you look at the Roker brand puzzles, they have like pinball tables that actually work once you put them together. They have like music boxes and carousels and everything once you put the wooden pieces together. If you actually put them together in the right spot, like if you put everything together perfectly, the item is supposed to work. So I am so excited. That is so freaking awesome because I hadn't told anybody that I had been looking at this brand, but I've been literally looking at this brand for like two months now. And oh my God, I'm excited. Like I want to do this right now, but I can't because it's like, two days to New Year's Eve and I have to do the Simpsons puzzle so we can predict the future. But I'm gonna freaking do this really quickly because appreciate everything makes me feel so warm so cuddly so thankful hope you guys had a great december got a chance to hang out with your friends or your fam or your animals or just anybody and if not come hang out with me on my channel where there's always lots of love and lots of puzzles to give i'll catch you next time when life gets you down make sure you pick up the pieces we about to do some puzzling. Peace. Are we gonna keep Will Ferrell? I don't think I have an ending. Maybe I'ma just redo that again. Peace. Cue Will Ferrell. Bye. Shut up. Enough already.